In today's fast-paced and digital world, communication is key. And with the rise of remote work and virtual communities, having the right communication platform can make all the difference. So let's look at two leading platforms, Slack and Discord. Now, you might not be familiar with Slack or Discord, but don't stress. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of the layout of each app and how each app works. Of course, along with that, you'll understand the benefits of using each app and when or why you should opt for using one app over the other. Now, some of you might be thinking that Discord is just a platform for gamers, right? But its reputation is quickly changing as people begin to discover the versatility of the platform. Now, big companies like Samsung, Jack in the Box, and even Gucci are using Discord for their community channels and their marketing strategies are working. Slack is famous for its collaboration functionality, which is why it's popular among many businesses. Now, when we consider Slack's price tag, it does appear expensive when we compare it to Discord, but we're gonna look at what features come with that price tag and reveal if it is really worth the cash. Fun fact. Both platforms actually begun as internal communication tools for gaming development teams. They simply just rebranded their platform and then launched them as standalone products. All right, so let's get this clear up front. Obviously, both Slack and Discord are messaging apps, and at a high level, that's what they do, allow you to send voice and text messages. But there are a few key differences in the way that they handle messaging. Discord uses servers and channels, Servers are organized around specific interests, groups, or activities, while channels are discussion spaces within those servers. For example, if we were to use Discord, paper form would be the server, and channels would be split up between different departments and topics. Discord does offer direct messages for you to slide into some DMs. Just kidding. But the focus is definitely on group communication in the main channels, and it's less prominent than Slack DMs. One of the unique parts of Discord's messaging is the way voice channels work. People can jump in and out of voice channels to have quick chats or longer discussions. The transition is seamless and the technical quality of the calls are excellent as well. Slack is organized in a similar way with a broader workspace and channels within that workspace that you can set up for different topics, teams, and other subsections you may need. The main unique thing about Slack's messaging structure is the idea of threads. Once in a channel, Discord messages all occur in a single stream. But in Slack, any message you send can be split out into dedicated threads, which is a great way to keep channels clean and organize ideas around a certain topic. When it comes to voice and video calling, Slack has built this into the platform under the name Huddles, and users can easily start a call within a channel or privately with other channel members. Slack also offers screen sharing capabilities, which can be useful for collaborating on projects. Discord, on the other hand, is primarily designed for voice and video communication. The platform offers high quality voice and video calling and users can easily create voice channels within a server. Like Slack, Discord also offers screen sharing capabilities and the ability to stream games or other content directly to the server. Slack is a tool that mainly focuses on team communication, and the platform offers a variety of tools to help teams work together more effectively. These include the ability to create channels for specific projects or topics, as well as features like shared channels and guest access for collaborating with external partners. I should also point out how intuitive the Slack product itself is. They really considered a user's experience on this one and made sure it was easy to navigate as well as customize. They built this knowing that a team's technical knowledge varies, Good work, Slack. Discord, on the other hand, is primarily designed for communities and social groups. While the platform can certainly be used for team collaboration, its focus is more on creating a shared space for people to connect and socialize. One concern being raised is the lack of privacy on the platform. While it is possible to create private channels and restrict access to servers, all user data is ultimately owned by Discord and can be accessed by the company. But what about connecting Slack or Discord with your other apps? Well, Slack has a wide range of integrations available, including with popular project management and communication tools. Discord also offers integrations with other apps and services, but the selection is more limited. It is worthy to note that Discord does have integrations with popular gaming services like Steam and Twitch, Perhaps a sign that it is just a platform for gaming communities? Well, no, not exactly. Discord has an exciting roadmap that sheds light on their plan for the future. As Discord is targeted towards communities and Slack is targeted toward businesses and bigger organizations, there's a big difference in the pricing here. Discord is essentially free, 
you can pay for some extras like larger file uploads, badges, emojis, etc. But Slack follows a very different, very traditional pricing model, which obviously attracts a different type of user. Yes, Slack does cost more than Discord. However, that is not to say that Slack's pricing model sucks. In fact, I would say the opposite. Slack offers a free plan and on top of that, the entry level subscription falls below eight USD per seat per month. Lovely. So should you be using Slack or Discord? Well, I think it's pretty simple in terms of takeaways here. Overall, Discord's better for communities and socializing and Slack is better for businesses looking to bring all their team's communication into one platform. But there are enough similarities for you to be able to make either work. However, the layout and busyness of Discord makes organizing and collaboration a bit tricky, but when you consider the price tag, which is zilch, then you have no complaints. Whether you need a communication tool for your business or a place for your community to share and discuss ideas, it's essential that you choose a platform that best suits your needs. Well, let us know in the comments, is Slack or Discord better suited to you? And like and subscribe to see more helpful content. Good luck and have fun creating.